There has been a lot of talk about major policy initiatives to build infrastructure all over the world. One example would be China's Belt and Road Initiative. What is an interesting question on this particular side is whether financing by private sector banks and so on are going to respond in order to meet the productivity change oriented demands coming out of these infrastructure projects. This is what we examine uh, in this particular uh, paper. But I have a related research agenda which also looks at the effect of roads or other types of infrastructure on entrepreneurship and uh, uh, issues around that. So I would say there are three key takeaways mainly. The first one is that private sector financing, financing which is not mandated by governments, do respond to changes in productive opportunities even for the world's poor. The second key takeaway I would say is that this is good news in some sense uh, that governments do not have to step in in order to provide financing to households if they want benefits from these large-scale projects like the Belt and Road Initiative to reach the common people on the ground. And the third key takeaway I would say is that we find interestingly that financing has distributional consequences. So financing does not evenly reach everyone and it does seem to benefit the poorer, more disadvantaged sections of society more. So that's I think another good thing that comes out of uh, what we find. So I would think the recommendation uh, that I would mainly make is to build more infrastructure uh, and not to worry about whether the benefits would reach the underprivileged parts of society that are going to get touched by this new infrastructure and let the private sector do its job when it comes to that part. As the world is growing more in sort of these emerging markets, we in the financial sector have to move beyond traditional financing for large banks and rich individuals because a lot of the market that's really uncharted and has a lot of opportunities lies in the rural sector. There are millions, hundreds of millions of people who are hungry for financing and this is, an, is a profitable opportunity, especially in the light of these infrastructure developments. Mm -hmm.